Hi, I'm Sean Gannett, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about evaluating limits. And this is a critical thinking question. So, they ask us here to give an example. Give an example of a limit that evaluates to 4. So, we want to find a limit, something that evaluates to 4. Well, a simple one here is if we take the limit as x approaches 4, okay, x approaches 4 of just x, okay? That limit, limit as x approaches 4, okay, we just have x itself, we can plug it in directly, it's straight equal to 4. And there we have it, pretty simple. We also could do this, the limit as x approaches, let's say, 20, of the constant, which is 4. Okay. Well, it doesn't really matter what we're taking the limit as x approaches here. That constant is always going to be the value itself, and it is also equal to 4. So either one of these would be an example of a limit that approaches or evaluates to, to 4. So let's recap. We're just given, uh, we're given an example. Let me break down a little bit. Let's get one of these. An example of a limit that evaluates to 4. Well, the first one I showed here is the limit as x approaches 4 of x. We can plug 4 directly into x, giving us an output of 4. And that's what the limit is equal to. Our second example we could do is also say limit of uh, x equals 20 or whatever, maybe 50, negative 1,000. Right? Limit as x approaches that 20 of 4 is just that constant, which is 4, which is equal to 4. So either one. There's actually many, many, many more that could work, would work for this critical thinking.